Hey everybody, um, it's just a quick video of some fixes, some quick fixes you can do on planes. If you're at the field, um, mostly toward foam, EPP, Depron, or <coughs> most types of foam. Um, this is one of them. This is, I don't know what type this is, it's just like styrofoam, I think. Um, but this is a quick video on the things that you will be needing to fix and just repair parts on the plane, such as foam. And uh, mostly foam and gluing and taping and just some more foam that you can spray on. So um, I'm going to show you what these things do and how they will fix your plane. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to show you is this stuff. It's spray foam and it's normally used to fill gaps and cracks, but uh, I've used this on a lot of planes that I have. <coughs> um, as I was learning, I totally destroyed this Piper Cub over here. I'll show you. It's like totally destroyed, but yeah, so um, I used it on this and that works pretty good. Also, I just want to show you this. Okay, so this is the foam. This will pretty much substitute for any part, any foam part on your plane. Um, you just gotta put it and it sticks like cement, so you can't get it on your hands, otherwise it's really hard to get off. Um, but what it does is it takes the shape, it can take the shape of anything, um, any foam. It just, it's just, it is foam, but um, it can fill gaps and, and just, like if you chip a part of your wing, that's just like a, uh, an example. Let's say you chipped um, your fuselage and you have no nothing to fill it up with or patch it up with. You could use tape or you could just use this stuff. Personally, I like this because it's much better. And then I usually tape over it. Um, what you could do is you you it makes like a big bubble around it. Then you have to shape it <coughs> and sand it down. And uh, it's very good because it's insulated. It keeps water out if it's a water plane or something like that. Um, so it's really great for that. And it's like cement. never comes off. You have to cut it off. It's a, like really, really hard so it won't break. It's a little more flexible than regular foams. Um, <coughs> once it dries, it's really hard though. Okay, so that's the first thing. Put that aside. Second stuff. This is tin. It's like, it's like a flexible tin, and it's great, because you can bend it in any shape, any way, any form. Um, now, I use it, like, let's say, in my plane here. I took some super glue, and I glued it to the sides. And this stuff also substitutes for glue on foam. It's like a foam glue, too. So, I use that on this, too. This and super glue. The stuff and this put together, and it formed this. Kind of made, made this stick to the foam. So this is just tin, and I shaped it as a tray there, because I modified this, this plane, to run on a brushless motor, and it took a bigger speed controller. So uh, I needed a bigger tray to use. So I used this stuff as a tray. And uh, as you can see, it's really, really nice, really, really extremely light. Extremely light, so it shouldn't affect your plane too much, as long as it's got a um, pretty big motor. All this stuff is mostly probably going to be used on like a let's say a brushless plane or a trainer plane because if you you're really learning how to fly um, you're really going to crash a lot and uh, all this stuff if you add it all up when you have a lot of weight on your plane so uh, you need a powerful motor so it mostly headed toward brushless planes because they have a lot more power than brushed motors um, but yeah so Back to this. This is the tin. Really light, really strong. Doesn't break. You have to cut it with scissors. Um, that's another thing. And uh, you can find this at Home Depot. You can get this at Walmart or Home Depot. Um, this is just flash, by the way. Flashing. Um, this is the best tape you could ever want. Um, what this does, it's like a plumbing... It's a plumbing tape. It's uh, kind of like an insulating tape. What it is, it's basically just tin foil with sprayed on adhesive. That's all it is. And it can crinkle and take the shape of anything. And it's great because it just takes form of it. And you can put it on any surface and it'll stick. And it is waterproof. So look, you peel the back off. 
and then it kind of curls, and then you stick it on, and it'll take the shape of anything. So, uh, let's say we wanted to put it on the can. And it goes like that. And you put that on. And you just make it take the shape of that. And it has a couple crinkles in it, but it takes the shape of anything, and you can never get it off. And it's just real, real good. Okay, so it's not like just sticky tape, regular clear cellar tape, or uh, masking tape. It's a real good tape. It's like, yeah, really good. And I got this um, at Home Depot, and I've heard of it by RC Discuss, and it's great for planes, I have to tell you. So that's another good thing to keep in mind. Um, I got that. Second thing, this stuff. It's electrical tape, and it's great for um, waterproofing things like wires or stuff you wrap it around the wires and it can just waterproof them and it's also good for uh, shrinking if you take this and you wrap it in uh, let's say um, you wrap it around the wires like my brush motor to my piper cup if you wrap this around that I can't know if you can see it it's kinda like a pin where it gets soldered on the wire gets soldered on to make the meat to uh, meet together with the motor um, you could tape that in a little piece and then put a hair dryer over it and it would shrink like heat shrink so that's that's pretty much my substitute for heat shrink but I use that too so that's pretty good it's really strong stuff you can also use this um, in minor minor repairs like um, it's it's like a rubber band that's what it kind of is so you could use that uh, now this stuff is great what this is is it is super glue it's the gel type. You can find this at the dollar store. And if you're thinking that is crap, because I got it off the dollar store, it's not. It's a high brand and super glue, and it's great. Works on anything. Um, works the best on wood, leather, and porcelain. But I use it for foam, and it's great. Doesn't burn the foam. Doesn't really do anything to it. So I'll show you. Um, yeah. It's the green style. You can find it in pretty much any dollar store. Just go in the hardware section. And it's great for, for um, gluing things back together. Like, if you broke a wing, you could use this and this put together. And that would form a super strong bond and it would glue back your wings. Um, I also used it for this. Right, that right there. And then it crashed again. When I, This was a learning plane. This is what I learned to fly on a long time ago. So, I used the uh, tape right here and this. And then the super glue I glued right here, and that was the part that broke because these were so strong that it took the the feel of the crash right here on the super glue. So that's pretty good. So this is great. It gives you three tubes in it. It's like a gel. It's like a jelly kind of thing, and you just glue it on it. Um, you only need a little bit, and then uh, it dries pretty quickly too. So that's pretty much all the things you need for quick fixes on a plane. I uh, can't really do that on helicopters because if you do it on helicopters, it'll make a big difference. And weight, also, parts for a helicopter are also really precise. So if you have tape on it, it won't work. So this is planes, mostly on the foam, not fiberglass. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Great stuff. All this stuff was found at pretty much Home Depot except for this. This was at the dollar store. But that's it, and this will help you with any repair you need.